Hey, welcome back. I'm Mia. If I haven't yet met you, it's nice to meet you and I'm happy you're here. I do the same little intro every time, so let's just jump right in. But you can go and find that on my other videos if you want to get a little backstory on who I am. But today I want to talk about February and do kind of a little review of everything that happened, maybe the goals that I wanted to accomplish, things that did or didn't happen, my favorite music, books, TV, movies, everything like that this month. So starting out the year, I kind of wanted to have like some bullet points for every month of things that I accomplished, things that I did, places I went. In January, I had a list of maybe five things, which was more than I expected to have every month. I expected to have maybe two to three, going to New York and getting my permit and telling the world that I was doing music was a big one. I kind of knew at the beginning of February that there wouldn't be a ton of progress because there are a lot of things that I needed to do to set a precedent for future success. So I was going to check a lot of boxes so to speak. A lot of it was really progressing towards future goals and just things that I want to be able to say that I've done in the future. I have kind of a list of the goals that I have been working towards. One of them that I decided I really needed to prioritize was making a habit of posting regularly, which is something that I really wanted to prioritize in January too, but I spent a lot of January with COVID. So that was something that I really wanted to solidify in February. And I think I've done a really good job of that. I post at least twice on Instagram reels every day. I've been posting twice a week on YouTube. As you have seen, if you're here, you probably know. And then there was kind of just getting comfortable with a lot of social media platforms that I hadn't used before or hadn't posted publicly on before. Even social medias that I was comfortable with that I hadn't really gone super public on. So for example, I downloaded Twitter really newly and didn't really know how to use it. So still kind of learning how to use it, but posting regularly on there and getting comfortable there and TikTok. I had TikTok way back when it was really popular around the beginning of COVID and then of course I deleted it when the whole scamming thing was going on but re-downloaded it which has been tough because I've had really low engagement on my TikTok so really pushing through and making content even though it's not going as well as other places and even like Instagram stories too. I have always been a huge Instagram proponent and so I don't know it was just still weird for me to you know, post stories five times a day publicly. I've always kind of had a thing where I don't want to put more of myself out there than I think people might want to engage with. So kind of just say, you know what, screw it. I'll just post whatever and people will engage with it if they want to. Teaching myself that lesson. And that is something that I've definitely made a ton of progress in this month. Being more comfortable on social media platforms has really paid off and I've noticed a big difference. Another goal that I'm working towards is getting my driver's license which was a whole mess. Before my family moved, I basically did everything I needed to do to get my license except get my license and, you know, take the test. And once we moved, I said, you know, I'll just figure it out once we get there so we don't need to bother with transferring state licenses. And I pretty much had to do everything over except for the you know, the permit lessons i suppose i had to redo my application for a permit my permit test my behind the wheel lessons all of that but being 18 is a blessing because you get to fast pass a lot of that so this month i spent a lot of time taking driving lessons and being behind the wheel and now i have a car so i've been kind of driving everywhere i am probably gonna get it in March if all goes well so that's another thing that i kind of had to work towards and couldn't really check the box on yet this month but a lot of progress has been made there. Another thing was I didn't really have a job at all and this EP needs to be funded somehow. So I organized all of that and scheduled a bunch of work for myself. And that is a really great accomplishment for this month as well because now I'll be working towards this funding to make my EP, which is a nice segue because that is something that is always progressing. And so what I've been really focusing on this month was figuring out who I wanted to make it and it's still a little more slow going than I would like it to be because I reached out to a couple of producers and mixers, but I've always been someone who's very, I don't like to intrude on people's time or their space or their emotions. And so I think I just need to get assertive, <laughs> um, which Hopefully this video ages well because I would love to be able to say that I was assertive and it paid off. Yeah, so I have a producer or two that I would really love to work on it and hopefully we can get that rolling. I 
am pretty much going to make it as soon as I have the money for it. And I don't quite know how much it's going to cost yet because of course it differs from person to person. So as soon as I've got enough money to produce and mix it, I'm probably going to go to LA and just get that crap out. Of course, after it's produced and mixed, there's going to be a gap of time because I'm talking to my friend about making a music video over the summer, which is really far out, but we've got some resources, we've got some ideas, so of course that'll have to be funded and everything as well, but there's that, and then of course there's learning about distributing it and copyright things, all of that, and this being my first EP, I'm going to take my time. Yeah, so that's exciting. So hopefully in March, I can tell you I've secured a producer and a mixing engineer and we can be good to go. So yeah, overall, not a lot of trips, not a lot of really checking the boxes on much, but there's been a lot of progress in work and driving and social media presence and in figuring out who's going to produce this because oh, at the beginning of the month, I was so distraught and felt like it was just this huge world of all of these people that could work on it and I had no idea who I wanted to work on it. Now, I kind of know. So it's just pestering them enough to do it with me. So I spent a lot of this month, as you can kind of tell, a little bit holed up. I definitely got out for my driving lessons and I got out to, you know, secure work and all of that. But I really was holed up otherwise. I made a lot of content, as you know. But yeah, aside from that, I didn't do much. I didn't really go on a trip or anything this month. But at the end of the month, I had some fun because for Christmas, I got my sister tickets to Dodie and Lizzie McAlpine. So we got to go and see them and that was super fun. It was really nice to get out for once after being holed up for a while and to appreciate art and remind myself that that is what I want to do and that's what I'm working towards. I think it gets so in my head when I'm spending all of my time in my room working on things that uh, to be able to go out and experience art the way that it works these days usually is just really fun. So that was cool and then I kind of accidentally got tickets to Claire Rosencrantz as well and did that the following night which was super fun. So I kind of had two nights in a row of just super fun concerts and going out and being a part of my community, which is something that I've really failed at. So hopefully in March, I can get it a little bit more. I do have some things planned that you're gonna get to see soon that will allow me to get out. So let's talk things that I've gotten into and been really kind of obsessed with this month. One thing I really enjoyed doing this month was I spent my quiet times in the book of Luke, which was kind of my favorite gospel before and I'm a big fan because it's just written in a way that I can really resonate with in a way that of the four gospels is kind of the way that I write personally. I'm in John now and he kind of jumps around and I'm like, man, Luke is so chronological and I feel like tells the story really well. So I really enjoyed that. I forgot how long every chapter is. They get up there, like 70 verses a chapter. But yeah, that was really something that was fun to do. I'm also a big reader in general, and I really like to read classic literature and old books and things like that. But I worked so much on music this month that I didn't really have a lot of time to read. And I think that that is one of those things that kind of gets pushed to the side when I prioritize other things, you know? I definitely am someone who considers reading important and valuable and I don't consider it entirely a leisure activity because you're really gaining knowledge and cultural awareness depending on the books that you read. Yeah, I just spent a lot more time working on music, but in my spare time I've been reading Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, which is a really big book and I've kind of been reading it slowly because if you saw my Instagram story, I was reading it in New York and I've been reading it since like October, but whenever I have a second, I open it up and it's really fun because I love kind of the elegance of it, but you also get kind of the rambunctious side of some of the characters that are really, I suppose, mischievous, make bad decisions, but it's interesting to read. And I think, especially for being as old of a book as it is, it's not so difficult. So just the length is all. So I've really been enjoying that whenever I have a second. I also try to listen to a lot of new music and I love to listen to artists' entire discographies. It makes me feel very organized and I am someone who really likes knowledge. So to be able to say you've gotten a really good picture of who an artist is, is something that's really valuable to me. I think a lot of times, even with myself, noticing how I put out music and that is people's one perception of me. They remember that one song about that one thing. And I love to listen to an entire discography to hear all of the different flavors and sides of an artist's personality in their life. 
So normally I will listen to an entire artist. I've been really liking the playlist that Apple Music makes every week. So I listen to that sometimes, but I don't know. I've been having a really hard time finding music that I listen to on repeat. I have a playlist that I add to every year of the songs that I've been obsessed with, and I barely added any this month just because I've been listening to music so fluidly that I haven't really had much that has stuck with me. But the one thing that kind of has has been Lizzie McAlpine's new stuff. So Reckless Driving has made a super huge impact on me. It is just incredible and so great and so easy to listen to on repeat, which coming from me is not a big statement because I listen to most things on repeat. And she also played a new song at her concert that I recorded all of that I added to my Apple Music and have been just listening to so much. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been obsessed with. I've been kind of lax on movies lately. I haven't really had a lot of time to watch movies. And when I watch movies by myself, it's like, I'll go through really short phases where I'll watch movies like three nights in a row and then I won't watch it for a month. But I watch a lot of TV with my family. That's kind of how we all decompress together and spend time as a family, aside from when we have meals together. We've been watching quite a bit of stuff. We've been watching The Amazing Race this season, which has been really fun. And despite COVID, I think they've done a really cool job. We've been watching The After Party on Apple TV, which is fun because big Jean Ralphio fan. And yeah, that show has been interesting. My dad and my sister and I also got really into Murderville, which is Will Arnett and a bunch of comedians. So that one's super fun on Netflix. And then personally, I've been watching a lot of reruns of Whose Line Is It Anyway, which is kind of my comfort TV show. I have a couple comfort TV shows, but that one I'll watch like clips of it before I go to bed, clips of it while I'm eating, clips of it while I take the dogs out at midnight, like whatever. And I particularly have been watching the new one um, with Aisha Tyler hosting it. I also have had phases of that where I'll get into it, but it's kind of full-fledged now. And yeah, I just watch it on YouTube. So it's kind of like, I don't really keep track. So yeah, I think that's kind of the recap on February. I think it was a lot of progressing towards future goals that hopefully will get accomplished soon. Ideally March, April, things will be coming together and that would be lovely. But yeah, I've been working a lot and making a lot of content for you and learning how to drive. So lots of things that are in the works and I'm super excited for you to be able to see everything when it all comes together. It's gonna be an absolute blast when this EP comes out. And I don't know, a lot of artists kind of tend to surprise people with this. That is not what's happening in this. You guys are hearing about it from day one. So it's gonna happen, It's we're gonna make it and it's gonna be lovely and I'm gonna get to share it with you all and I'm so stoked about that. That's February. I would love to hear about your February. Tell me in the comments or DM me or whatever. But speaking of, you should tell me how your February was on all of my social medias, which are all linked in the description. So tweet me on Twitter, DM me on Instagram, comment on this video, whatever social media you like, they are all linked below. So go check those out and we can hang out there and stay updated on everything and really just have a ball of a time. I love you guys. I'm thankful that you're here and that you're hanging out. And yeah, I hope that you had a fantastic February, that your March is just swell so far. And I'm so excited to show you everything that's gonna be happening in the next couple months and to keep you updated twice a week on here with all sorts of stuff. So thank you for hanging out and I'll see you later. Bye.